In this video, we will show you how to assemble the Senko LC Easy Flip Connector. Once the ferrules have been removed from the oven, there are two options to choose from. Option 1 is to use a 1.25mm ferrule polishing fixture to finalize the polish prior to connector assembly. Or option 2, which is to scribe and cleave the fibers and to perform a connector polish after the assembly. In this case, we are working with option 1, but the assembly is still the same. To move forward with the assembly, you want to double check that all of the components are in the correct order on your cable. Once that is completed, it's important to check that the tip of the ferrule to the yellow jacket is still correct. Using a ruler and referring to the length in the termination procedure, you can quickly check this measurement. Following this, you will want to grab your ferrule assembly tool. On the ferrule assembly tool, you will see a notch that should face upwards and also an indicator showing you the spacing of your connector. Next, you will want to carefully take your ferrules and insert them into the tool. Make sure that the ferrules are fully inserted by pushing on the ferrule flanges. Following this, you will want to take the connector bottom housing and carefully slide it up the cable. Inside of the bottom housing, make note of two notches where the springs will go. You will want to push the back of the springs onto these two notches and using the assembly tool, carefully compress the springs while keeping your thumb on the top of the bottom housing in order for the springs not to pop out. While compressing the springs, push the tool downwards to fix the ferrules and the spring into the bottom housing. You will notice that both springs are equally compressed and secure in place. Take the housing cover and guide it into the two grooves found at the front of the bottom housing. Take your index finger and push the back of the housing cover until you hear an audible click. With the body assembled, it's time to pull up the polarity changeable latch. Be very careful when pulling it up not to bend or twist the fiber. You will hear an audible click when it goes over top of the connector housing. With the latch installed, the next step is to expose the airman yarn from underneath the connector body. Using fine tip tweezers, carefully pull out the aramid yarn from underneath the back post. Go all the way around and be mindful not to pinch the fiber or create any sharp bends during the step. Once it is pulled out, you will want to spread out the aramid yarn evenly around the back post. The next step in the process is to crimp the crimp ring onto the back post utilizing the aramid yarn that you just exposed. In this particular case, we are using a 3mm cable, so we have a two-step crimp. The two different die sizes can be found inside of the termination procedure. First, you will want to crimp the crimp ring onto the back post. Following, you will want to crimp the crimp ring onto the cable itself. While crimping, it's important to ensure that the connector is snug against the cable. For a 2mm cable, the second crimp is replaced by a heat shrink tube. Now that the crimping is complete, it's time to slide the boot over the crimp ring. With the boot installed, the next step is to grab your cleaning tool to clean the end faces. In this case, we're using the Senko cassette. Always wipe in the correct direction indicated on the cassette. Please note, you will only do this step here if your end faces are already polished. It's always good practice to then place on your dust cap to protect your end faces. As an optional feature, it's possible to install a push-pull tab. Simply take your connector and slide on the push-pull tab from the back. And now, the Senko LC Easy Flip connector is complete with the optional push-pull tab for high-density applications. 